Hello everyone, my name is Andy. I'm Sue's older sister up in Canada. I always thought I was the smartest sister, but Sue married Royal. No contest. Thank you for coming out to celebrate a wonderful husband, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, great-great-grandfather, father-in-law, uncle, brother-in-law, and of course, friend. Royal meant so much to so many. He has a family that loved him unconditionally. I hope my words of remembrance will bring comfort and maybe a bit of a smile to each of you. I've written a silly poem every year for Royal on his birthday. It seemed to mean a lot to him and Sue, so I'll try to recreate some of the foolishness I passed on to him on his special day with a couple of poems thrown into my commiserations. I remember the day on Lake Gaston I lay, sunny out on an air tube. Royal and Sue were talking to me. I turned and out popped my left boob. I had no idea until Sue quietly pointed it out to me. I thanked her profusely and Royal responded with, No, thank you. I loved my brother-in-law. I made several trips to see them in the various places they lived and one very memorable trip, memorable trip was to Hawaii. My friend Bev and I went to Hawaii to visit Royal and Sue. We took all the makings for B-52 shots, and craziness began to brew. Royal brought out his liquor of every kind. We made drinks we thought we'd be keen on. We stayed up quite late making concoctions that were great. A royal flush was the way we were leaning. And lean we did. Left and right we slid. Royal was swaying and acting the fool. The royal flush was created, and we were elated. Drinking stopped when Royal fell off his stool. I know Royal felt awful the next morning when he had to get up early to register for golf. That was the end of shooters. I took my boys to visit them in Italy when Sean was six and Ryan was turning one. When Royal was not working, he made it his mission to entertain my boys and they loved him so much for it. He was truly a wonderful uncle. I was unable to attend their wedding in Italy the year before since I was eight months pregnant, which left me to ponder. I always wondered if that was their plan. Me not attending was their mission. Royal didn't really know me that well, so it was probably a wise decision. I visited Royal and Sue when I was turning 60. I wanted to spend this epic birthday with my sister. We're only 11 months apart. My youngest son, Ryan, and then girlfriend, Lindsay, now married 11 years with two children, surprised me by showing up as well. Lindsay had never met Royal and she told us that he reminded her of Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh because of the slow, drawling way he talked. They called him Uncle Eeyore from then on. Royal enjoyed that special moniker. One thing Royal did not enjoy was answering the phone and left an answering machine message saying, Sue isn't home, but she'll get back to you shortly. That always amused me. We spoke several times on the phone when he was upset because Sue was ill when he needed to pass on information to me about Sue, but especially when he would accidentally call my number instead of someone else's. We had the best chats during those moments. They will always be special to me, and I'll miss those calls very much. These stories are some of my favorite times with a brother-in-law who was one in a million. I hope that my memories brought solace to you. To me, they are worth several billion. Royal will always be loved and cherished, so very much missed. My heart goes out to his family. I send you all my love.